Hello, hi, it's Liz here. Um, today I want to work on my yo-yo journal, which is a collaboration between myself and Barbie over at Nelly and Ruth Designs. Um, so I've been doing some work behind the scenes and today I want to add a little something to it and show you how I'm going to do that. So anyway, let, let me show you first what I've done. Um, I've done this first page which had these two little envelopes built in. So I have decorated the front of the envelopes or yeah, the front and the back and they have got um, two little specimen cards, slides in there. There's one there and there is one there. I made these in a previous video and I also have this little pocket which has got two little bits of whatnot tags and whatnot in there. So that's all collaged up, a little doily. And then I've got this page which is a large pocket with a journaling card. Um, and there's a video on showing how I made these and this vellum pocket with some bits of ticket and little pieces of ephemera for use in the journal and a little bit of collage there and um, there's also a video for this so that's the two pages that I did on the front and then I did this page which is a pocket as well with a little tag there a little cluster collage um, a nice easy page that one um, then it came with these pages done that's what Barbie did um, showed you this before that was Barbie's pages and Barbie's beautiful fabric collage very impressive then the middle pages, I've done a little collage here and the little poem that matches this um, centre spread. Then I have done just, there's no pocket here or anything, it's just purely collage using one of my circle um, clusters and a little bit of fabric here. Um, these are Barbie's pages, beautiful tag. Those pages have still to be done and then I added a little um, stamping on some book page, some fabric, a little bit of frayed fabric round there and some stitching and a little bit of vellum in behind there on that. This is Barbie's hidden tag there. That was already done. Some blank pages and Barbie had done that blank one. So I want to make something for this page here today. It's getting really nice and chunky and uh, yeah, I'll just, that must have been me that pulled that off there. Just stick that down. There we are. Yeah, sorted. <laughs> Okay, so the other day I was watching Barbie's channel and let me just put that over there safely and she made um, an accordion journal using little coin envelopes. It was really cool and I thought I'm going to do something similar um, for that page that I showed you. So she used plain little coin envelopes. Um, I don't have any coin envelopes. Um, I have got these envelopes which are already decorated so that makes it nice and easy. She did a cool thing with watercolour and um, the acrylic block and then used the acrylic block to give a watercolour fit. I'll put a link to the Barbie's video in the description. You really need to go and see that uh, what she did with the the paint and the the acrylic block because it worked out really really well. So I've taken inspiration using three envelopes. These envelopes came in the my creative studio box and uh, 
yeah so i'm just going to use them up and we're just going to attach them somehow let me think i'm going to just attach them like that and then just super easy like that so that they go like this and then you've got pockets inside so i'm just going to chop this bit off that's the first thing i'm going to do just chop this off and then once we've attached them all together we will give them a little bit of a decorate up a little bit of easy peasy collage I'm calling it collage, but it's stamping and stickers. That's what we're going to do. Right, so I'm just going to, and it's going to be attached to the journal using that. Yeah, that's right. So these don't have any adhesive on them, these envelopes. So we'll just use some glue stick just to attach that onto there like that. okay so you've just got that bit there but that's the bit that's going to be glued onto the page that bit there and then we're going to just simply attach this one just exactly the same. A little bit of glue stick. So I don't have many pages to finish in that journal and then it will be going off to America, to the States, back to Barbie to finish, finish it off. And then it comes back to me to keep. I think that's what's happening. <laughs> so we've got a pocket and a pocket and a pocket. Now, maybe I should have done this before I glued them together. <sighs> I don't often ink but I'm thinking I want to ink and this is brushed corduroy. I'm thinking I want to ink these just because it's got that kind of look. So not too much, just round the usual edges. This is a fun, easy project to do. Right, and what I want to do is try and get those openings because you can't really see that it's a pocket. There, see how that shows up that that's a pocket. do some stamping on the background and for that I've got my Versafine Vintage Sepia and I also have an acrylic block and this doily stamp which is Paper Mania Urban Stamps um, it 
called Vintage Notes Doily. That's a kind of obvious name, isn't it? It's called Doily because it is a doily. <laughs> and I'm just going to stamp bits, bits of it. Catch a corner here and there. That's what we'll do. So I think what we'll do is a bit here. Like that. That's good. And I'm not concerned that it doesn't all uh, stamp because it's just a, a background and it's just a, a hint of a stamp, if you know what I mean. <laughs> and maybe up this opposite corner with just a little bit less. Okay, so I think that's us for the doily stamp. This is Stampers Anonymous Faded Type and let's use this one. This is my favourite one. I'll just use the same block even though it's quite big. Look at my stick. Some of these have lost their stick. I need to wash them. I know that. I need to wash. But for now, That'll do. And the vintage sepia again. And I think down here. Good, good. And maybe. This top bit, I think. A little bit up there. I should stamp on some spare um, paper so that it becomes a um, whatchamacallit, like uh, a piece to use, maybe. What's it called when you just stamp, when you use a bit of paper on your background and then you can just use it in, in collage or whatever. <sighs> Can't remember what it would be called. Right, so I'm going to use this one. And so I'm not going to stamp here because this has already got a nice pale look about it so i want to stamp some more on the back this is the bit that's going to be attached to the journal so i just need to decorate these two so let's ink up this one and i think maybe here Off the edge. Good, good. And I've got little bits of ink left. Let me just see where they are. I'm just going to Use up those two bits of ink. Good. Right. 
one last bit of stamping here and we will use I think this one getting well used that stamp set today I love this ink pad because it's just new and it's super juicy and I think we'll go this way and go along here. There we are. And that's all the stamping done. So that's all from one stamp set and that doily stamp. Perfect. We can move the ink out of the way. And we can move that mat out of the way and see where we are. It's going to be attached. Oh, wait a minute. I've got my prototype here. <laughs> yes, that's right. No, wait a minute. I've stamped the wrong one with the writing. I should have stamped that middle one. That's what it is. That should be there. So let's get it back out. And luckily I hadn't taken it all off and tidied it and cleaned it and put it away. Because <laughs> that's the bit that's going to be attached. See? No hand done. See, this is why you should make a pro prototype before you come on the camera and then still get it wrong. There. I think that's me. So, that bit gets attached. That's it now. <laughs> okay, so we want to decorate it up. So, let me think I have some stickers here and I've got some postage stamps and that's all I'm going to use that's it these two stickers and these stamps because these envelopes already have that decoration on them and um, yeah we don't need much and that uses up some of them because I have got a whole heap of them. <laughs> so let's have fun trying to get the back off all these stickers. Actually, that one came off not too bad. So I just want to make sure that's going to fit and not go over that opening. So that's fine. Right, and I think a little stamp there. I also want to give a shout out to my friend Dee of Dee's Crafty Place because I know quite a lot of people that watch my channel love to watch Dee as well. And... Um, Dee bought one of my soft cover journals and she's using it um, as a little weekly uh, video on her cha channel and it's really, really interesting and for me anyway because I made the, the, the I will it was a, it was a plainish journal, but she's actually she's so making it her own and adding absolutely gorgeous bits, and it's quite a thrill to see someone working in the journal that you've put together, and that you would hope someone would enjoy, and so to see it actually getting used, and she's making such a gorgeous job, 
so I will also put a link to Dee's channel in the description because oh, you need to see what she's doing with this journal. It's absolutely beautiful. So this is just really easy. I'm just putting some focal points on each page, just keeping it, you know, maybe you've bought a pack of these stamps and you think, oh, I'm not going to use up all of them. Well, just double them up and and it, I think as well, it makes it look more, um, what's the word I'm looking for, when it all kind of matches, when you've used, I know in junk journal world, it's nice to have a bit of everything, but for me, coming from card world, handmade cards for many, many years, for me, coming from that world, it's hard not to have things kind of matching. Not all ma matching, absolutely matching. But I do sort of like there to be a reason a wee bit to, to put things together. And this just makes it cohesive. That's the word. This just kind of makes it cohesive, doesn't it? If you're using up the same sort of things. I think this will look really good in the journal. So, yes, yeah, so please pop over, visit D, have a look at what she's doing to the journal. Oh, my goodness. Right, and the final page, we're going to maybe put the stamp in behind. Yeah, let's go crazy and put the stamp in behind the sticker. Oh dear. But how easy is this with stickers? A nice stamped background. Well, you started off with something that's already got a nice background, so it just makes it all so super easy. Right, I think that's us done. All that's left is to choose. These are matching journal cards that came in the My Creative Studio box as well. So I think what we'll do is we'll just stick easily. Now, of course, you could stitch around. I don't think I'm going to, but you could. Perfect. Right, let's get the journal back and let's find that page. It's going to be this one. And of course you could also you could also do them that way. Mm -hmm. But I'm not. I'm going to do it this way. And it's going to sit like that, there. Um, do I want something else? Do I want to maybe stamp? A little bit. A little bit of the doily. Do I? Let me think think if I can visualise that. I think I'm going to stamp a little bit of the doily, maybe a little bit of the of the num of the lettering stamps. That's what I'm going to do. Let me bring the doily back. I don't need to ink it all, but I don't quite know which bit is going to hit the paper, so I'm just inking it all, just to be on the safe side. Mm 
and be about there. Whoops. Journaling cards, cards, not to worry. Yep, that's fine. Right, so let me just carefully before I know it, there'll be vintage sepia all over the place. And do we want? Some of that. Hmm. I think I want some of that. Vintage sepia <laughs> all over the fingers. Where did it go? There it is here. Right. Let's see. Just a little corner. Does anybody else do that? Make funny noises when they're thinking? I definitely need something up here. Wondering if a bit of washy. Let me just reach for my basket. Let's move these stamps out the way. And Yeah. That's quite nice because that brings out the kind of limey yellow from that page, but that's quite nice as well. Floral, I think. That's quite nice because it's going oh, but that's numbers on there are black and I haven't used black. If I had used black ink, I maybe would have used the washi with the black. But I think what we'll do We will just now. I would normally tear washi, but this is getting an extravagant whole piece put on. Is that straight? No. That's straight. That'll do. Let's just tear it off. Managed to miss a bit. Again, managed to miss a bit. It's awkward in there. Let me 
just try there we are right so perfect Yes. Let's bring out the big boys to get this glued on. Right, let's just double check. Yes, that's that sheet there. It's the back of this one where I stamped accidentally. Make a nice pattern with the glue because <laughs> you can't stop yourself. And I'll just overlap it slightly with the washi so that it's not all straight lines. Nice interactive addition, I think. Thanks, Barbie, for the inspiration. <laughs> so, yeah. Right, stop me. <laughs> I'm not going to do that again. <laughs> Just one more. There. Right, so that's me. That's another page done. I think I've just got maybe two, three pages to do and then it will be packaged up and sent off um, for Barbie to do the rest of the pages. So please check out Nelly and Ruth Designs. I'll put a link. Please, please, D at D's Crafty Place. See what she's done with that journal. It's absolutely amazing. Um, so thanks for joining me today. If you've enjoyed the video, a thumbs up would be great and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.